the conversation with Molly about the matter has been ongoing for about three or four years. I was kept saying after Rio, after Rio, after Rio, and, um, and now it's after Rio. <laughs> of a journey to step up to your first marathon because there's a big unknown factor. Not only how will your performance be, but can you finish? It's a great unknown really. The marathon is always a great unknown for anybody doing it for the first time. And you can be in the best shape of your life and something can go wrong. Having Molly finish sixth and get the American record in the 10,000 in a race that her sixth place finish would have been good enough for gold in six of the last seven Olympics. Her name is now in the mix with the best in the world, not just Americans, but now the best runners in the world, regardless of what race she's in. When she gets the full preparation, Molly can run very close to 220, I think. You know, to borrow a cliched phrase, Molly is the turbulence beneath the still waters. She's a very, very low-key, easygoing individual, but she is fiercely, fiercely competitive. When she gets on the line for a race, she's very aggressive. She likes to go to the front. She likes to control things. She likes to push the pace. The biggest thing she's going to have to do is to be patient. No, she wants to win. Yeah, this is this is not a game. This isn't just an idle challenge. She wants to do it to win. It's going to be an adventure for sure, no matter what happens that day.